So Lucas, what's your favourite Wolverine quote? Berserker Barrage! Mine too. Mine too. Right, so we're here once again in Big Wangers HQ to film a Wikipedia weekend, and which one have you chosen for us today, Lucas? Today we are going through Wolverine's profile. Yeah, so Wolverine, I think we all know who Wolverine is, so we don't need to do any introduction for that, but we are on the uh, Marvel Wikia page uh, about James Howlett for Earth 616 continuity. And we'll go through this first night, obviously. Real name, James Howlett. There we go. Current alias, Wolverine. But here's my favourite one, because obviously Wolverine has been in the comics for so fucking long. Mm -hmm. That, the list of aliases, takes up the entire screen. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> that's the list of aliases. Holy shit. So we'll go through a few now. So we've got Logan, Weapon X, Weapon Chi, Chi, Patch, Death, Black Dragon, Agent 10, Wolvie, specifically by Jubilee, Wolvie spelt differently by Rogue, Claw Man, Claw, Knucklehead, Canada, <laughs> what a nickname, just all of Canada. Canada, personified by this one man, the unkillable Ronin of the West, Short Stack, Claws, and finally, Stench. I do like the idea though, what's Wolverine, why he's got Claw, Claw Man. I was like, <laughs> Claw Man. I just like the one that's just short ass, or something like that. It's like, what a, like, an unnecessary dunking on Wolverine. Because people who don't know, Wolverine is very, very short. In like, like five foot or something. He's five foot three, I believe, in okay. that. I think it actually says it on here somewhere. Characteristics, yeah, height. Five foot three. So, uh, unusual features. Animal like canine teeth, two sets of three. Foot long retractable bone claws stored in his forearms, covered in adamantium. Mutton chop sideburns, unique hairstyle, pursuit physique. I really like the, the three blades made of adamantium slotted made into of, his made forearms. Of bone, covered in adamantium. Yeah, that's just casually put in with like mutton chops. Yeah. <laughs> Well, mutton chops are just as, like, you know, synonymous with Wolverine as his big old claws. So, Origin, he's a mutant, later grafted adamantium onto his skeleton by the Weapon X project. Place of birth, Cold Lake, Alberta, Canada. So, he's a Canadian. And fun fact about Wolverine, do you know the reason he exists as a character? No. Because he's Canadian. He was saved from, like, basically just the cutting room floor. The story goes that the guy in charge of X-Men comics at the time was told we need to cut one of the characters that's been introduced recently. Hmm. And he saved Wolverine because he's always Canadian, and so am I. And we need more Canadians in comics. Oh, okay. So Wolverine only like exists because one guy like, oh, where? Yeah, fucking Canada. Let's go. Yeah. So we're gonna skip past the history because that section is about nine hundred thousand words long. And go watch the other eight films on it. Let's just skip straight to personality. Would you like to hear a uh, quote from Wolverine I'd about his personality? So we'll go with. There's a part of me as wild and fierce as my namesake. I'm a hard man given to hard ways. When I fight, it's to win. That isn't pretty, and it sure ain't nice, but being a man, that means choosing to grow and change and put aside the old ways. And also, I think his other quote is like, uh, I'm the best at what I do, and what I do isn't very nice. It was at the very top of this page. Yeah. And I think that's one of my favorite quotes. I think the guy who come up with that's like, yeah. <laughs> He's really proud of that one, as he should be. So Wolverine is a gruff loner who had a strong sense of personal honor. He also has a wild, also I think he must be dead in the current continuity, because they're using the word had. Oh. They're, they're referring to in the past tense, which must mean Wolverine, sadly, is currently dead. But you never know, by the time this, you know, video actually gets edited, he might... Be alive been, again. Be alive again, you never know in comics. Well, I made reference to it in another video we did about the X-Men, where there is a member of the X-Men who, when, like, their dad dies or something like that, like, at the funeral, someone asks him, are you not sad? He goes, well, he's an X-Men, he's gonna come back. <laughs> X-Men always come back. <laughs> And then, I think later in the comics, he comes back. It's, it's like, just oh. like Dragon Ball, where no one gives a shit at that yeah, Why that would you give a shit if your mate dies? You can just wish him back to life. He is also perfectly at home in the wilderness. He is known as one of the most fearless, brave, and dangerous men in the world. Stated by Steve Rogers. And when Captain America himself comes out and says, this is the bravest, most fearless man I've ever met, you fucking listen. God, yeah. <laughs> like, Captain America is a guy with no superhuman abilities who jumps out of an elevator and lands on the floor and uses the shield to stop the Earth. And it works. <laughs> like that moment in The Winter Soldier where Captain America's shield is so good it prevents gravity. Yeah. Boom! He just, just like gets back up. He's he like, just, okay. I think that's one of my favourite moments in the MCU because it establishes that. Like, that version of Captain America can do a charging star. <laughs> from like Marvel vs. Capcom. He's like, so I was half expecting as he did it for him to say charging star. As he just <laughs> crashes through the top of shields. I love that thing in like Marvel vs. Capcom where no matter what colour outfit you pick for Captain America, when he does charging star, it's always red, white, and blue. America. Yeah, that man's America to the fucking core. Huh. So Wolverine had established himself quickly as the X-Man most willing to permanently deal with their adversaries by stabbing them with his fist knives. 
Um, he developed close friendship with his teammates, Nightcrawler, who personalities diametrically oppose Wolverines, and Colossus, who often perform the fastball special with him, which is... That is so good. Like, Lucas' opinions on the fastball special. Oh, I fucking love it. I've even got a t-shirt of it. It's the hypest shit. It's like the idea of, well, I'm completely indestructible, and I'm insane. Just... Just th Throw me as hard as you can at anything you see. <laughs> Turn me into a human fucking bullet, it's fine. It'll hurt, but I can't die, so whatever. And then we have a section that's just called Relationships, and I, I, I'm wondering if you can see the art of this one, because Wolverine sat in the middle, just surrounded by many, many women. The image <laughs> will be behind me right now, but... So, Logarine's love interests include, but are not limited to... So, let's just go through Wolverine's conquest now, shall we? Let's go through his penile resume. Uh, Atsuko, Mariko Yoshida, Silver Fox, Itsu, Rose, Jean Grey Summers as the Phoenix, Aurora Munro, uh, Melissa Garner, Jean Grey in an alternate dimension, so you've got to fuck on with Jean Grey twice, <laughs> Nina Thurman, and even X-Men foe Raven Darkholm, aka Mystique. Wow. Yeah. That's a list. And bear in mind, that list is incomplete. It should say that like, this list is incomplete, you can help by expanding it, and Wolverine, just like his face, like, yeah. Expand that list of Wolverine's like sexual conquests. Uh, so, enhanced mutant physiology. So, Wolverine is a mutant who had been given an adamantium skeleton by the Weapon X program. Nick Fury's intel classified him as a power level 9. While the One, who well, I'm assuming like a big evil villain who's very scary, classified him as a severe threat. I would. Yeah. I love it as well, he's just a guy. Like, like power level 9. I think like 10 is like world, like world threatening. Ten, 10 is like the Hulk level, I think. Yeah, and Wolverine's just up there. He's just a dude with knives. <laughs> <laughs> How scary is that? This man with knives in his hand is scared, almost as scary as the Hulk. So, um, regenerative healing. Wolverine's body naturally regenerates most, if not all, damaged and destroyed tissue and organs at a rate which exceeds that of any normal human. The rate of regeneration is proportional to the damage caused. This process is automatic and Wolverine seems to have no control over it. Um, his healing factor, however, does not seem to stop Wolverine from feeling the pain of his wounds, nor the pain of his body regenerating itself. So that's, that's one. That, that's the number one with a bullet, the thing I want people to know about, like, Wolverine, if they just like it from the films, that like, he feels everything. Yeah. He just doesn't care. So, containment immunity. Wolverine's natural healing also affords him virtual immunity to poisons, viruses, diseases, and most drugs. For example, it's extremely difficult for him to become intoxicated from alcohol. Which I think is why he's constantly drinking beer and smoking. Like, he's always downing like, a bottle of whiskey or beer. Because it doesn't matter. His body yeah. regenerates from it. It's like um, Deadpool. Where it's like, oh, the cancer in your body is being, like, it's being killed too fast for it to affect your body. But you're also like a testicle, so yeah. Clearly Wolverine got the better end of that deal. Yeah, he's he a natural mutant abilities instead yes. of one that was like, you know, implanted into him, so. Whoa. So it can be accomplished with extraordinary... Like, this can be accomplished, however, with extraordinary amounts of alcohol, and even then, the entire cycle of intoxication and hangover can be completed in mere minutes. Man, that sounds awesome! Can you imagine getting over a hangover in 30 seconds? But he's only got, like, two minutes to get drunk. It, I, I better hit that dance floor fucking hard. <laughs> he gets but... one song! Wolverine's healing factor has cured him from the mystical curse of lycanthropy <laughs> after he had been bitten and turned into a werewolf. <laughs> He just cured himself of Lucas, werewolf. Lucas, it gets better. And from vampirism, when he was bitten by a vampire. So he's been bitten by both a werewolf and a vampire, and recovered from both. He just forced it back out the body. Oh god, he just, he just, he just manned his way through being a vampire. That reminds me, of, there's a moment in DC Comics, which I think is up there as one of my favourite Superman moments, where Superman gets bitten by a vampire. But because Superman's power is derived from, like, the sun, the vampire explodes. <laughs> it's just so dumb. It should be noted that the time it took to cure the werewolf curse was... Curse. So not a disease, it's a curse. Curses just exist in Marvel, deal with it. Was longer than the time it took to cure him of vampirism. When he was infected with vampirism, he also had been infected with nanites to temporarily deactivate his healing factor and use him as a booby trap on the vampires. Holy <laughs> shit. They use Wolverine to kill vampires. Oh man, I wonder what Blade thought. You're just stealing my <laughs> gig, man. Next one, telepathic resistance. So Wolverine has stated he's resistant to telepathic probing to Emma Frost. Uh, the first from a level nine Psy shields implanted by Professor Charles Xavier. I love comic lingo <laughs> so much. Level nine Psy shields. It sounds like an upgrading like Psy Ops, the mind gate conspiracy. And later his healing factor, creating mental scar tissue blocking it. Comics. 
comics again. So next one is retractable bone claws. So Wolverine's skeleton includes six retractable foot-long bone claws, three in each arm, that house beneath the skin and muscle of his forearms. Wolverine could, at will, release these slightly curved claws through his skin between the knuckles of each hand. The bone claws are naturally sharp and tougher than normal human bone, allowing them to, even before they were infused with unbreakable adamantium, penetrate most flesh and many natural materials. That's why you can like cut through trees and stuff with bone claws. Wolverine can unsheath any number of his claws at once, as we all know from the... <laughs> uh, here's something I didn't know though. Um, at the moment he releases the claws, he has to keep his wrist straight. So they'll, otherwise they'll just like poke through his wrist. Oh God. Oh, that'd be bad, wouldn't it? Oh. Lucas, are you ready for some bullshit now? Um, Hot Claws is a little subtitle on the uh, claw section, which says a new facet of his adamantium claws upon his resurrection is that he can keep them up to several thousand degrees in seconds. And Lucas, that sounds like ridiculous, doesn't it? And do you know why they did it? Because this is like, you know, a bit of like, you know, um, pulling back the curtain on comics a bit. Um, they wanted to make a new Wolverine comic, but they wanted to make it PG, so they couldn't put blood in it. So they just said, oh, now his claws heat up and cauterize wounds. So oh, that is the shittest excuse. So you can now for the coolest fucking power. <laughs> so I was speechless, and it's just oh, to, to not have blood. So they don't have blood, so he can cut people's arms off, and they instantly cauterize. So now there's no blood in the comic, so they I'm can. I'm so sad now. Yeah, that's why they did that. Isn't that amazing though? So superhumanly acute sensors. Wolverine's superhuman sensors are a combination of a separate mutant ability and his healing factor, uh, which is sense organs atrophy at a much slower rate than that of humans. Uh, his most improved sensor is sight, hearing, and smell. Due to the enhanced sensors, Wolverine's claim that he can function in complete darkness as though it were daylight. Okay, superhuman smell. Wolverine's sense of smell is more magnified and allows him to recognize and track objects and people just by smell alone. Daredevil once posited that Wolverine's sense of smell is more developed than his. Bear in mind, like, Daredevil's a guy who can tell what aftershave you were wearing three weeks ago. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> again, high compliments there. Uh, oh, we also had the Phoenix Force for a bit. Yeah, when you mentioned earlier, oh, uh, aliases, Phoenix, Dark Phoenix, like, what? Um, he also once had a symbiote attached to him, which sounds like the most terrifying thing in the world. Holy shit, can you Wolf imagine if it was like the Carnage symbiote? Wolverine with a symbiote. It's like that comic where the Punisher gets one. Have you heard about that? Oh There's like a what if comic where it's a what about if um, Venom didn't attach itself to Spider-Man, attach itself to like, you know, the Punisher. Oh my God. And the Punisher is like, oh, I'm just God now. And he's like, he's basically Jackie Estacado in it, like wheeling like four guns at once and just firing in every direction. That sounds it's incredible. so terrifying, and like the the coolest oh. little detail they do, the symbiote attack, like it becomes the skull on his chest. Oh, that's yes. where it's oh that's so cool, and then like, the skull on his chest gets the weird venom eyes. It's like yes. oh so good. Uh, I also once had um, Asgardian claws. Of course he did. I'm wondering now what would happen if he wasn't worthy of his claws. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> just stuck. Anyway, so. Abilities, he's a skill tracker, above normal intelligence. He's also a master martial artist who has mastered, and I quote, virtually every form of hand-to-hand -hand combat on Earth. Yeah, which is great, but then he just goes, quick, throw me. <laughs> which, I just like to imagine the first time they like discuss that tactic, where it's, right, Wolverine, you're, all, like, you're here, you're 100 years old, you've fought in countless battles, you are the most experienced, seasoned combatant we have on our team. What should we do in this situation? He goes, throw me. <laughs> what? <laughs> throw me, oh, okay then. <laughs> He's a weapon expert. He's also a computer and vehicles expert. I kind of, I don't like that. I like the idea of him being really bad with computers. Strength level. As a result of Wolverine's constant cellular regeneration, the additional weight and tensile strength of his skeleton, he has some degree of superhuman strength and able to press somewhere in the excess of 800 pounds. Ooh. 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 That's a, that's a beefy boy. All of us, some degree of superhuman strength. I like as well, it's like the paraphernalia. Um, he wore a standard X-Men uniform or street clothes. He don't need anything else, does he? He's so fucking good without it. So there's much, much more we could discuss, but let's just end this with some trivia. During the earliest days of Wolverine's creation, Roy Thomas debated whether to call him that or the Badger. <laughs> I love that. The Badger! He eventually opted for the Wolverine since the other name had connotations that included pestering, bothering, or being annoying. That's his superpower. Just, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Super Badger. Um, Chris Claremont intended for Apocalypse to be behind the original adamantium injection in Logan's body. When Barry Windsor Smith explored Wolverine's past the Weapon X, for no reason other than courtesy towards Claremont, he introduced the idea of Professor Truett Hudson taking orders from an unrevealed higher up, with the intention of allowing Claremont to reveal said superior was Apocalypse. Oh, that would have just been cheer. Yeah. I'm glad it's just a dude. Yes. Yeah. Wolverine once made a cameo appearance in a DC comic. In the scene, Wolverine and Doctor Doom are executed by a supervillain team known as the Hyper Clan. So I they think... put him in a DC comic? <laughs> 
Come just in kill to him. just kill them all. Wolverine carries a medical car saying that he's a war veteran who has metal plates in his head to help him bypass metal detectors in airports. <laughs> that makes so much sense. And but what happens when they like scan him and he's just beep, 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 I think he just yeah, everywhere. I've got I've got metal plates everywhere. Um, Wolverine was once captured by Shield in prison in the cage. His prison number was 412075. Wolverine and Spider-Man became Blood Brothers during a time travel adventure. Of course. That sounds did. awesome. Being the weapon X of the program Weapon Plus, Wolverine considered himself as a sentinel. Okay. <laughs> Nick Fury stated in the perfect world that Wolverine will be a level 10 shield agent. Man, he'd be so good. It would be the best be fucking shield agent. Deadpool has claimed to have hacked Wolverine's Tumblr account. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, yeah, I'm, I'm ending it there. I'm not... <laughs> 